Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. This is the Christmas edition week 11 fantasy basketball update for your fantasy basketball leagues. Y'all ready to get into it? 3, 2, 1. Let's get it and let's go. Boom. This video is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticket app where you guys can buy tickets for a great price and actually know the value of what the seat you're buying. This app gives you access to a visual view of what you guys will be actually seeing when you guys purchase the ticket. So basically, it is everything for you guys all in one app. It is an app for sports games, concerts, you can name it all. So make sure you guys download the app and be sure to use my promo code EASYBUCKETS to get a $20 discount on your first purchase. So before I go to the list and the topic guys, I just want to say that right now I'm posting this video on Christmas Eve. I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas guys. Christmas is actually my favorite holiday guys, so I can't wait for it to come around. So yeah guys, just Merry Christmas from Easy Buckets. But before we go into the list guys, I also want to say if you guys are new to Easy Buckets guys, we are a fantasy basketball channel. What we do is talk about fantasy basketball on a daily to weekly basis. We talk about the best waiver wires, the best trade targets, stock values, all this stuff of fantasy basketball. So if you guys love fantasy basketball, go hit that subscribe button to join the Easy Gang. What I personally do differently is that I actually help you guys with your fantasy basketball team. So if you guys need any advice, you know, regarding a trade, regarding your team, send me a DM on Instagram at easy.buckets and follow me there on Instagram as well. I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys and I love talking to you guys. And right now I'm doing my best to accompany over 50 messages a day, guys. You guys, yes, you guys are crazy. I love it. Let's keep it up. But without wasting any more of your time, we're going straight to this list. First thing that we're gonna talk about, guys, is the week 11 schedule coming up, guys, because it is the Christmas time there isn't gonna be people playing on Christmas Eve which is Monday so this is the list we got two teams playing four games of LA Lakers and the Portland Trailblazers and two games playing only two games which is the Pacers and the Memphis Grizzlies so if you own players like Gasol, Indiana Pacers have you know Depot, Sabonis, Miles Turner, adjust your lineups accordingly. With every other team on the list, three games. Moving over to the long-term injuries, guys. The first injury is Goran Dragic of the Miami Heat, guys. He is out two months with a knee surgery, guys. You know, with Goran Dragic, I've always said it myself that he's going to be a difficult player to own because of his injuries. We got Bobby Portis out two to four weeks with a right ankle injury. Chris Paul out two to four weeks with that sprain. Ibaka right now has no timetable to return, but his return for his knee injury could be one to two weeks. Miritich right now has no time to return with his right ankle injury. He's missed the past games, but I'm assuming the next week he will return. And Jeff Teague out 7 to 10 days, aka 1 to 2 weeks with an ankle injury. Moving over to the stock rise, guys. We have four players right now who is at that level of stock rise value, and these players are listed right here. First player is John Collins of the Atlanta Hawks, guys. I've said it myself. He is one of those players that had an injury at the beginning of the season, did not play, but is coming back, and his value is rising and rising and showing why he was so valued at the beginning of the season. He's averaging 22 points a game and 13 plus rebounds, and that is great for a power forward of the Hawks that they're developing. John Collins is a great player his bylaw window is completely closed and is going to be one of your best fantasy players that you expected when you drafted for your teams we got that is young of the indiana pacers guys he's one of the biggest shockers right now he's developed over the past two weeks and now he's averaging about 18 points a game eight boards with defensive stats of 1.5 and 1.0 blocks a game that is young is one of those players that's coming off the bench for the pacers guys and playing heavy minutes with sabonis or with miles it doesn't matter that is young is a player that right now if you can still get him off the way wire he could potentially be there in small league teams but it's a great player to add in a package trade for your fantasy squads we got deandre aiden oh he's growing crazy right now he's having 24 points a game over the past week 16 boards a game guys and with the suns previously having a four game win streak aiden was definitely one of the reasons in the past few weeks he's had a really small fall off but that fall off is completely shut down because he's back and a big shocker guys is larry nance jr of the cleveland cavaliers guys he's playing great basketball average about a double double of 12 points game and 12 rebounds with good defensive stats. Larry Nance seems to be that future power forward for the squad. Right now with Kevin Love out, they're finally making him and developing. Also with Tristan Thompson out, Nance has to be the guy for the Cavaliers and he's been doing so. So he did previously have a buy low window but it's right now rising. So if you have a chance to get Larry Nance, he is still cheap try to get it. Now we're going to move over to the stock value drop. Three players that right now their value is diminishing with specific reasons. 
to the team. Wesley Matthews has averaged about 11 points the past week and shooting terribly at 37 field goal percentage. A big part is JJ Brunner's development and his return to the team's lineup and rotation. But the thing is, Matthews is worth owning, but still, right now, his value is dropping. So he's a great player as a buy low target. SGA Shy Gilgis Alexander, guys, when Lou Williams returned, he has played terribly within what we expect him to do. He's still a prospect to be a future point guard of the squad, but he's averaged about seven points the past week and three assists. Lou Williams really returned, definitely hurt him, and his stock right now makes him going in the buy low window. He's actually really, really cheap right now. And Marquise Morris, guys, with the development of their center, Thomas Bryant. Marquis is averaging about 9 points, he's had a great season so far with Dwight Howard out, but now his stock is decreasing because of the development of Thomas Bryant. Moving over to the waiver wires guys, I got 5 waiver wires for you guys, there's a lot of players right now that you guys can pick up and could remain on your rosters to the end of the season. First player is Thomas Bryant of the Washington Wizards guys, the reason is because he had a 31 point perfect field goals made a game, the Wizards said it themselves, he seems to be that center right now while Dwight Howard is out, and if he's going to keep playing basketball like that, I believe that they don't even need Dwight Howard because he is young and reminds me of a Clint Capella kind of player. We got Emmanuel Mude, guys. He is now the point guard of the New York Knicks, guys. He beat Trey Burke, Frank Telekina, and seems to be that point guard guy. He's averaged about 20 plus points the past week, and I don't see that stopping anytime soon because Imudi seems to be that point guard for the Knicks right now. Tyler Johnson of the Miami Heat, as simple as it is, it is because. Goran Dragic is out the next two months. They're going to need the point guard of the team, which is Tyler Johnson, guys. And he's going to give you points and a decent amount of assists. Justice Winslow is in the same situation as Tyler Johnson. They're both going to split the minutes at that position. But Justice Winslow gives a little bit more stats, but less scoring compared to Tyler Johnson. And Kelly Oubre Jr., guys, is he still in your waiver wires? I suggest you guys pick him up, guys. Guys, in the Suns lineup, he is going to get a good plus 25 minutes a game. But I believe that with the Suns, he has the potential to be a great fantasy player and could potentially be that starting small forward for the team. Alright guys, well that wraps up the list on the week 11 Christmas edition fantasy basketball update. If you guys enjoyed the list guys, give me a thumbs up button guys. And also put your ideas and opinions in the comment section down below. Once again guys, if you guys are new to Easy Buckets guys, hit that subscribe button. And make sure to click on that notification bell to not miss any of these weekly videos. Because guys, do not want to miss it. But other than that guys, take it easy. God bless. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys later on Easy Buckets. Woo! Like Usain in the cheetah print. Uh, uh, Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. Uh, RIP the game, shh, I need a minute. Uh, okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deep with it. These bozos always sneak this and they taking shots, I'ma keep with it. Like, no, no, this league business.